Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I am going to show you how to convert PDF documents into Excel files using a tool called Able to Extract. Now I have uh, this uh, project where I have to convert a lot of PDF files into Excel and I was using uh, a lot of online tools that are available and a couple of paid tools but I really struggled because none of these tools was giving me a result that would convert a PDF file into an Excel file uh, in the right way so there were sometimes it would mess up the formatting sometimes the tables wouldn't come as you expect them to and uh, I was struggling a lot and then I started trying this tool the, uh, this tool called able to extract and I really love what I see right now so I thought I'll do a review of this tool and show it to you and how it works so I have this free trial installed on my system if you want you can go to their website and, and use the free trial they give a seven day trial where you can convert three pages per PDF document and you can test it out if Converting PDF to Excel is something that you have to do quite often or if it's let's say PDF to Word document or Microsoft PowerPoint then you can use this tool and I would recommend that you take the paid version and if you plan to take the paid version uh, use the link in the description because using that you will get a 15% discount on the tool. Now let me show you how this works so I have this installed on my system so let me open the tool. This is what you see if you are using the free trial version. If you have bought it, then you'll probably just see the main screen. I would click on continue. And here, this is the main screen where I would open the uh, PDF file. Now, let's start with a simple tab separated data. So I have this file here. And what I want to do is I want to convert this entire data set into Excel. So what I would do here is I have these two options. I can either select all and when I click on it, it selects the entire document. This is only one single page, but if you have let's say 10 or 20 pages, then it will select everything. Or I can specify the area that I want from this document to be converted into Excel. In this case, all works for me. So I've selected all. Now I can go to this option, which is Excel. You can see there are other options such as CSV, Word, PowerPoint, Publisher, HTML, Image, AutoCAD. I'm interested in Excel. So I click on Excel and it gives me these two options. First is automatic, which means that this tool would automatically detect the rows and columns and convert it into Excel. And in most of the cases, this is the option to go because this tool does a really good job at identifying the formats and converting it to Excel. But in case you still more still need more flexibility and control, then you can use the custom option where you can say that I, I want this to be one single column or I want this to be split into two columns, then you can use custom. So let me do one thing. Let me first choose convert in the automatic option. And when I click on it, it will open the save as dialog box where it will ask me where I want to save this Excel file. And when I click on save, it will convert it and within a few seconds, the conversion is done and it will open the Excel file. So the Excel file is opening now and you can see that it has done the job perfectly fine. You know, it, all the data in the rows and columns is just as I expected it to be. So this works really great. Let me also try another example. So let me close this, open this again. And here I'll try another uh, file where I have a table in it. So I have this file here and let's try and convert this. I would go to all and now I would click on Excel and click on convert. And let's save this file. Again, it only takes a few seconds. If you have a huge file, then it might take a little more time, but uh, I've noticed that it's quite fast and you can see that it has done the job uh, fairly nicely. So obviously you wouldn't see all uh, the formatting and all the borders and all, but it has done the job. It has given me the data in a way where I can change the data and format the data and use it uh, just because it's the formatting and the rows and the columns have been identified correctly. So let me close this. Now, these are quite easy examples. There is only one page and you can uh, extract this. But when I work with the real life cases, I have to extract data from complex PDFs. And uh, in one of the projects I was working, I had to extract the financial data and that can be quite tricky. So let me close this and let me open and show a financial report and how to extract a part of that report 
using this tool so I go to open and in this case I have chosen the financial report the 10k report of Adobe the company that gave us PDF so if I open this file it will you can see here I have all these pages and these are all text but what I'm interested in is let's say I'm interested in their financial data which is consolidated balance sheet and if I want to extract this and this data only then I cannot use the all option because if I use all it will select the entire document so what I have to do is I have to select area and then I have to specify which table I want to extract in Excel so I click on area then I can come here and I can select this data manually using my cursor I only want this one so I would keep this go to Excel and again here I would click on automatic convert and uh, let's see what happens uh, it saves this document I save this and it will open the Excel file and as you can see the file is in a very good shape so I have all these numerical data points in column C and D and I have all these particulars here and the formatting is exactly how I would expect it to be now I can use this data but the other tools that I was using so far the numbers wouldn't be in the same column so if these numbers are in different columns then I have to go back check the report and put these in the right column which was very very time consuming now let me also show you another thing in this case instead of let's say going for the automatic option if you go for the custom option then what you can do and how uh, you can edit it let me show it to you I have area selected I select this document this part of the table and now when I click on Excel instead of automatic let me show you what I can do with custom and when I click on define you can see it shows me these lines and these are the lines that would actually convert into columns so this would be one column this would be second this would be third but let's say I do not want this column then I can simply come here and I have this option of so I can delete uh, these yeah so I have this erase column line option and when I click on it and I click on this line here you will see that this line disappears which means that now I would have this column uh, and this column and this column so it gives me this level of control if I want I can remove this line as well or if I want to add a line I can add a column so maybe I can say that I need more columns so add more columns and then it will give it to me similarly if you want if you do not want some headers to come in here you can use the options given here which is edit header or edit footer so if I click on edit footer and I come down I can specify that I do not want the footers here in this case it's not already selected but if let's say I have the headers selected here then I can say that I do not want this header to appear although it wasn't appearing anyway but if I have selected this part I can say that I don't want this in my report so you can have a little more control in my experience so far I've seen that automatic works perfectly fine in almost all of these cases and now you can convert this into an Excel by again going to Excel and uh, and converting it so here there's this convert option you can click on it and it will save this as an Excel file so uh, this option works well one more option that I want to show you is that if you come here let me do one thing let me cancel this and let me I have this area selected let's go to Excel and here let's say that you only want the table so for example if I have selected uh, three or four pages and I only want the tables or let's say if I've selected this entire document and I only want the tables to appear if I select everything and everything is selected including the text and the photos and everything and I only want the tables to get extracted I can go to Excel and here I have this blue gear icon and if I click on this it shows me this option of settings dialog box where I have extract tables only and now when I click on OK and I convert it will identify the tables let me rewrite overwrite this OK I already have it open I guess so let's rename it to tables and now when I save it it will take uh, a few seconds because it's a huge document and there are so many tables in it but eventually it will only extract the tables from this PDF and give it to me in Excel so this is really useful because I don't have to go through the entire text and then uh, cull out the tables I just get the tables and then I can split it into different worksheets or just pick the table that I want so it's converting the data 
now I have this uh, file here which has all the, the tables now there are many different tables in this and anything that has been recognized as a table comes in this file now I would have liked it if the tables were in different sheets but even in this format this is really a time saver because now I can pick the table that I want and work with it uh, I'm especially liking this tool because this is tax filing season here in India and I have to convert a lot of my statements bank statements and credit card statements and earlier I was doing this manually I would read the the particular and put it in Excel but now I can simply put these in a folder and convert these one by one and put it in Excel so it's saving me hours and hours of time so if you want to test this tool out go and and use their free trial version you will get a seven day free trial where you can convert three pages in a PDF document into Excel or to other formats such as Word or PowerPoint and uh, the results are really really impressive in case you want to purchase this tool so that you can use it for multiple files and you can convert uh, the complete PDF file into Excel then you will have to buy their tool and if you want to get a 15% discount on their listed price use the link in the description below I reached out to these people and they have agreed to give my readers my subscribers this exclusive discount so use the link below and you will get a 15% off on able to extract that's it in this video I hope you found this useful thank you and have a nice day